Hello and welcome back to another video on Acer Store's ADM system. Today I'm going to be looking at audio files and for those of you that have been purchasing or at least considering purchasing an Acer Store NAS so you can house all of your large collections of MP3s, WAVs, MP4As and more or FLAC files of course then there's lots of stuff you can do with the Acer Store NAS system. So in today's video, I'm going to talk you through a few different ways in which you can enjoy audio media on your NAS. We are going to be utilizing the Drive Store Pro series from Acer Store. And again, if we have a little look at the NAS itself, you can go into the featured app section of their website and it will detail a lot of the stuff that you can do with audio, as well as a lot of information about different codecs that are supported on the system. And as you can see, there's a few ones supported there and a lot of the key ones, like particularly the audio files there. And of course, the system does support a large degree of transcoding and network playback. So again, there's lots of things you can do. Now, this is the latest part in this series of videos, but it should be highlighted that I do strongly recommend that you've watched at least a couple of the videos before it. As some of the uh, applications and services that I'm going to talk about today, I've gone into greater detail in other videos. And in those other videos, although they may be centered on photos or videos, they still do cover quite a lot of information there in the background that may become useful. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is get your music media on the NAS. Now, in previous videos, I talked about the ability to add a mapped network drive to your computer, which will allow you, if you choose to, to log into the NAS using your own proprietary application. You can log straight in, see the contents of the NAS, and then you can upload files that way. Alternatively, if you choose to, you can just go straight into the File Explorer area of the NAS and you can directly upload music to the system. Now, as you can see, I've already created a folder called Music. Again, once you install a lot of the music applications on this system, this app should appear, this folder should appear, I should say. And then you can just go ahead and drag and drop media into this folder if you choose. So for example, if I go into my NAS system here and then go into my music folder, I've got four, I've got five albums here and only four albums are here on screen. So what we can do is just go ahead and drag and drop a folder directly onto the NAS. Go ahead, click OK, and it will start uploading the file. Simple as that. You can close this window while it does that in the background. And then as you can see, music has been uploaded. And there you go, it's added music to the system. Now, in order to enjoy this music, of course, you can go ahead, if you choose to, play this music here in the browser window. Simply go into an individual file, right-click, and you can click Play. A player will appear on screen, and you can utilize this to enjoy the music in the background on this tab while you continue working on other things. However, most people aren't going to want to enjoy the music in this fashion. They're going to want the music targeted towards their uh, mobile phones, their tablets, or high-end media playing devices in their home environment. Two very common ways of doing this are taking advantage of DLNA and UPNP, Digital Living Network Alliance and Universal Plug and Play. Two methods that have been largely industry backed now that any device that can communicate on a network level in order to play back or stream files with simplicity are supported and therefore devices are generally DLNA certified or UPnP certified and supported. As you can see, the Acer Store platform and ADM has two applications that you can use. There's the UPnP media server and there is the DLNA media server. Now both of these will allow you to add the collection of media on your NAS and make it network accessible. As you see from our previous videos, I've already added a couple of folders here. What we can do is go ahead and add the music folder over DLNA on our media server and this will allow it to be accessible over the network on our connected client hardware. As you can see there at the top, there's the name of the NAS. If your NAS has multiple network Ethernet ports, you can select a pre-designated slot uh, on the NAS, and that makes sure that the media server has its own 100 or 2.5 gigabit Ethernet connection, depending on the NAS. Then go down here and click Add, and then from there, click Browse, 
and find the folder on the NAS that you wish to be able to access over the network, in this case, music. Then click OK, then click OK. And it will add this folder to your existing list of folders, as you can see there. When you're ready, click Apply. And there you have it. Now that music folder is accessible over the network. Depending on the device you use, whether you're utilizing mobile devices that have got m media server support, or if you're using dedicated audio tools, or even using Amazon Fire Sticks, or PlayStation and Xbox consoles, most of these devices have a media server in one form or another. Either find them on their own local platforms or look online. The alternative to taking advantage of DLNA is universal plug and play, another method that allows uh, file servers and clients and server hardware to be able to communicate in a very simple fashion. As you can see here, well, there's the name of our server, and we can go ahead down here and click add if we choose to. We give the folder a name, which again I've done and called it music there, but we can call this one audio just for the hell of it. We can then click browse, add a folder, click OK, Oh, we can see because it's already been taken, we can't add it again. So what we'll do is we'll go straight in and add an album directly. And there you have it. This is how you add more folders and more directories to your UPnP server. Indeed, if you go into the Advanced tab, you can change a number of these settings, such as checking which receivers are in the local area environment and if you can block them if you choose to. So if you don't want some devices having access to the UPnP server, you can uncheck them there. On top of that, you can change some uh, default as well as allowing transcoding if you choose. Transcoding is the reshaping of a file to a better destination-friendly format. So if you're playing a file that's not compatible with your client hardware, the system can convert it. Alternatively, if you've got limited bandwidth or a bandwidth that's very, very busy, often transcoding can reshape a file to a much smaller version to be played back on the destination hardware. But do bear in mind, this can sometimes undermine the quality of the audio. So those are the easiest ways to enjoy media that's audio on your Acer Store NAS. However, there are two dedicated audio apps on the Acer Store ADM platform. These are the Sounds Good app and the Hi Res Player. Of the two, the Sounds Good app is by far the most user friendly. However, the Hi Res app has a lot of details on it. Again, if you go into the application center on your Acer Store NAS, you will find that alongside the first party apps available from Acer Store themselves, if you go into the cate Categories tab, scroll down to Multimedia or Media Player, you'll find even more multimedia applications from third party sources. So browse through and see if there's something that better suits your needs. <clears throat> so first up, let's have a look at Sounds Good. This is an application that's also available for iOS and Android. These applications allow you to connect with the NAS and therefore stream music directly. As we look, we can see that it's already browsed the albums that we've uploaded. It's created subfolders based on the albums and artists, but of course, if I only have one track from an album, it will only play, it will only have available some of them. The lot of the metadata that's in the background of these files is how the Looks Good application is able to create this collection. Now, if you go to the top here, click on Admin and go to Settings, it will allow you to change some of the settings on your Looks Good Media Audio server. As you can see, you can enable transcoding to reshape files. If you go to media sources, you can go ahead and add even further media server, uh, media folder directories. So again, you can add new folders as you see fit to add more music. If you go to permissions, you can make sure that different users on the NAS network that have different admin rights or are just guest accounts have a limited degree of access depending on how you see fit. That also includes HDMI out if you choose. You can utilize a lyric plugin for the NAS to be able to download lyrics to songs. And finally, there's logs that monitor all the activities on the NAS within the audio settings. If you want to change the user interface of the Sounds Good application, click here and then it will switch to album covers. 
Again, you can add and create custom playlists here. You can also go ahead and select the create playlist option here, whereupon if you give it a name, let's call it test, test one, click OK. And then from this playlist you're creating, you can start adding files as you see fit. For example, if we go for a song here, we'll go for Core Design Tomb Raider 2 Official Soundtrack. We can add to the playlist Test 1 with such ease. To play a song, we can either double click it and then it will play the song at the bottom of the screen. Something I've had to mute in this video, unfortunately, because of YouTube. But then you can change a number of the options as well as, of course, downloading lyrics. Uh, shuffling that audio and casting to surrounding devices if you choose if they are paired on the network again you can even go to a much more strict structured folder view here and as you can see we're connecting to two different locations on the NAS hence why they're doubled it won't appear that way on yours and that's really it for sounds good you can add different features you can edit some of the uh, details you can even download locally or in some cases share the files inside which will allow you to choose who can access it or if you just want to send people a direct link in order to have access to this file so they can download it directly from your NAS. Just bear in mind you will need to arrange remote access protocols and the easy connect system on this NAS and also don't do that until you're ready and willing to connect your NAS to the internet with the correct port settings. And there you go that is sounds good. So what about that other application? Well, let's take a look at High res Player. High res Player is a far more intense and a slightly more intrepid version of the media player. And although, as you see on screen, it may seem a little intimidating, it is definitely the tool that brings you the most information about your audio. Case in point, on the left-hand side of the screen here, we have a drop-down of the folders that are being crawled by this system. If we go into an album like so and drag it to the other side of the screen, not only are we able to create little custom playlists as we could before, but now if we select an album, this app will then crawl the internet for cover art as well as look into more information about the bands, who's wrote it, reviews and more. All of this information ready and available from this user interface. And of course, you can play songs as we're doing in the background, although you can't hear, as well as stream and connect with other services. You can also add internet radio services as you see fit, and there's lots of options, all of which can be configured on the fly. And as you can see, get the cover, getting the cover art is very straightforward. As we've gone here, right-clicking get the cover art here is now downloading the cover art for these albums. And again, all of this can be done very, very easily to create a really nice layout for all of your audio. If we head back into the previous interface, we're able to see that from here we can find out more reviews about music we're playing. On the right hand side of the screen, we can go ahead and start creating customized playlists with a greater deal of control and configuration on those playlists very easily. Again, it may seem quite intimidating at first, but it does allow you to do quite a lot of different things with your music, as well as create a far more detailed and large, uh, better looking music playlist for your needs. And indeed, with connections to other online resources, which arguably aren't always the most accurate when we look at words like Oasis, you've still got lots of different features depending on the song you play. And again, all of this within the application. There's a, there is a limited amount of internet connectivity, but it's worth remembering that to get all this cover art, you are going to need to connect online to some of those sources. But let's wrap things up. In today's video, we've looked at audio on the Acer Store NAS, which applications help you enjoy it the most and how to set those up. In the next video, I'm going to be looking at video files and how to enjoy your multimedia collection of movies and TV shows on your Acer Store NAS with ADM, so stay tuned for that. If you've enjoyed this video, click like. It helps me understand what I'm doing right and how to make each video better than the last. And of course, if you do want to learn more, click subscribe or the bell to be notified. Finally, if you're still on the fence about which NAS you should buy, what's the right setup for your network services, or you're a home or business user that just needs a helping hand, take advantage of the free advice section over on NAS Compares. It's linked in the description, manned by two humans, me and Eddie the web guy, and we're here to answer your 
questions and help you get the right data storage solution first time. It's free, it's manned by humans, we don't do anything with your emails, there's some donate buttons, it'd be great if you use them but you don't have to, and otherwise I will see you next time.